Thank you, Madam President. I stand in, here in support of this bill. Last Thursday, I had the privilege of having a group of elementary students come and visit me at the Capitol. And as they were cramming into my office, about 20 of them, I said, you, you picked a really important day to come visit the Capitol. There's important business here. And little Megan proceeded to ask me, what are, you, what are you voting on? And I said, the House is voting on marriage equality. And, I, and she proceeded to ask me, what does that mean? And I said in front of the teachers and parents, you know, one day, Megan, you'll be married, hopefully. And we want to make sure that everyone has that same opportunity. So I stand here not as a mother, but I do want to bring that perspective into this discussion, this important discussion. And if members, you would indulge me for a, a brief moment, I want to share a little bit from a constituent, a mother in my district who I remember door knocking her uh, several times. I remember having a conversation about this very issue. And I remember her visiting me at the Capitol as well to share her story about her son. And if you give me a few minutes of your time, um, I'll just quickly uh, summarize or read from her letter. On July 4th, 2011, our son shared with us that he is gay. At that moment, we became a gay family. My husband and I had been married for 27 years, but we began traveling with our son to new territory. And with the marriage amendment, it was public territory. We had just discovered who our son really was at the time that the entire state began debating his future. It was heartbreaking. Each voter who convinced himself of zero-sum morality, that if his family is good, mine must be evil, plunged another knife into my heart. No one will convince me that I gave birth to evil, that my son chose evil, or that he deserves barriers to his happiness. I want for him what I want for all four of my children, happily ever after. I want him to find someone to love for the rest of his life. I want to dance at his wedding. I want him to be able to have a family. I want to babysit his children, my grandchildren. And today, members, I want to allow my constituent and her son to begin happily ever after. Please vote green.